today's video, I'm going to be showcasing every single quirk in Hero Mania. Yes, sir. If you guys haven't noticed yet by the sound of my voice, mad sick. And my voice low-key sounds different. I recorded this video around the time I first got sick, which was yesterday. And my voice sounded so different. To the point where I sounded like old grandpa. If you guys hear an old grandpa talking in this video, Bruh. it's most likely me. So please bear with me. Uh, with that being said, let's try to hit 500 likes on this video. I low-key pushed myself to do this video even though it was massive. So I would really appreciate it if you guys go out your way to take a few seconds of your day to like video. Let's try to hit 500 likes, yes sir. And most importantly, if you happen to be new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. We're currently at 38,200 subscribers. Help me bounce to that 39,000 ASAP. If you guys haven't joined my Discord, click the first link in the description and join it up. We have two categories dedicated to two popping anime games, Shindo Life and Grand Peace Online. Those categories could really come in handy and I'm planning to make a category for this game probably if I end up making more content on it. So if you guys want to see a category for this game, let me know in the comment section I'll make a whole category dedicated to this game with many useful channels that you guys could end up putting into use. But yeah, before that happens, I highly suggest you guys join the Discord and you know, check it out, all right? And yeah, I might add that category, who knows? But yeah, with that being said, let's get right to it. Let's get right into this. So let's start off with the first skill, which is called Flame Burst. To get this skill, you gotta have one mastery into a cremation. So let's go ahead and test it out. Damn, woo. So okay. this move is like that was a good 50 damage there. So for a first skill, it's pretty good. 50 damage. It's honestly really nice. So let's go ahead and test out the second move, which is called Blue Embers, and to get it, you gotta have Five mastery and cremation. Ooh, wait, hold on, hold on. We do it this time. Kai, um, do it like from Fatty's angle from the back. That first angle was perfect, but now let's get it from the back. Yes, sir. Yeah, no homo. That sounded wrong. Ooh, damn, bro. That move goes hard. All right. That's, some good, that's like good 50 damage there again. Okay. Who's so this to... move shoots off like six little balls and it's lock on, so... It's really good for combos. All right, good to know. All right, so the third move is called Wave of Fire. And to get it, you gotta have 25 mastery and cremation. So let's go ahead and test it out. Oh my God, okay. I could already tell that move does a good amount of damage. Yeah, that, mm. that, that does some good damage. Nearly 80 to 90 damage, that was pretty good. Wow, cool. eesh. So that's a really good move. It's similar to the first one, but it has longer range and does way more damage. Alright, so the next move is called Blue Field, which is the fourth move. To get this move, you gotta have 50 Mastery in Cremation. And it's an AoE, so it's really good. So let's go ahead and test it out. Oh my god. Bro, that range in the knockback. Bro, that move goes hard in my opinion. Yeah, I'm liking Cremation so far. How much damage did it do, Razor? Uh, around 55. 55? Like for com like for combo, getting a combo. Now that's pretty decent. I expected it to do like 80, 90. But again, the knockback on it makes it OP in my opinion. So that, that's pretty good, bro. Yeah. Yeah, if you get it like regen or something, it gives you time. Because you just knock them back a little bit. So yeah, and that's it for the fourth move. Now let's go ahead and go to the fifth. It's called Prominence Flash. And you gotta have 80 Master and Cremation. So you gotta like grind this game. Kind of to get it, it's really hard. It took me like quite some time. So let's go ahead and right get into it. Oh my god, yo, I see why it takes a while to get this move. Wow, after damage and the move goes crazy. 200 damage plus burn. That is wow. crazy. I think this cremation either deserves an A or S. What do y'all What do y'all think? I'm thinking this is S tier, honestly. S the damage is insane and it's insanely good for like grinding raids with your friends or whatever you have to do. Yep, agreed, bro. I'm giving it an S. What do you think, Kai? Oh, yeah, Kai can't speak more for <laughs> What do you think, uh, Razor? You said S, right? Yeah, I'll give it a five. All right. All right, so that's an S. That being said, moving on to the next quirk. All right, my boy Razor's finna showcase the one for all quirk, which happens to be a legendary quirk as well. And uh, yeah, with that being said, Razor, take it from here, bro. 
Alright, so this is the one for a quirk like Salem said. Now let's get right into this. So, the first move is a very short range move. This requires around zero mastery, and it does the most damage out of all the moves. Alright, interesting. Oh my god, that knockback! This also has a stun right after, so you'll be standing still for a couple seconds. Damn, that's pretty good. Yo, Fatty, how much damage does that do? It does 75 damage. 75, not bad. All right, moving on to the next move. All right, the next move is Delaware Smash. Uh, this is actually a pretty long range attack. It does close to the same damage as Texas Smash, but it requires around 10 mastery. And let me get into this one. Damn, bro. That range and knockback. Yo, this quirk, the knockbacks it has is insane, bro. Yes, it's gonna be good for combos once you get it down. Yep, I could already tell. It does 60 damage. Alright, moving on to the next move. Alright, the next move is super jump. This this uh move depends on how long you hold it. So, so the more the more you hold down to it, the higher you jump. And yeah. This yeah, all right. Mastery. Let me show you without holding down at all. So that's how far you go if you don't hold down to the move. Okay. Now it's do it again and hold down to it. Let's see how far you go. All right. All right, get ready, guys, because Mans is about to fly. <laughs> yeah, pretty high. I'll tell you when I'm around. All right. And let's start now. Phew! Bo! Damn, that's insane! <laughs> Uh, it takes a little bit. It takes a long time to charge up, but that's really yeah, it's high. definitely worth it, bro. Cause you just flew each. All right, moving on to the next move. All right, so the next move is Detroit Smash. This is around 40 mastery, and it's a close range attack, but covers a decent amount of distance. Let me show you. Damn. Yeah, this one does close to the same amount of damage as Texas Smash. And also gives a, a decent stun. All right, all right. Yo, uh, Kai, this time, make sure you're pointing from the sky. Wait, hold up. Go up a little bit and like point. Yeah, like that. Yes, sir. All right, do the move again. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, do the last move again. All right, that's down for you, a better angle. Yes, sir. All right, so that's uh, one for all quirk for y'all. And how much damage did that do, Fatty? That did six. No, not six. See, my bad. 72 damage. Yeah, 72. Yeah. That's not bad. All right, moving on to the last move. Yeah. All right, this last move is actually really overpowered. It's basically, it's called full cow. Let me show you. Oh, so it's basically a form, okay? Yeah, this 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 form gives you plus 260 strength, plus 350 speed, and plus 315 defense. Wow. wow. This really buffs all your attacks, and it makes you a lot faster, as you can see. Damn. Yeah. All right. So that's one for all for y'all. And with that being said, what would y'all give it? I would give it like, I don't know, A or S. Bro, at first I was going to give it an A, but the last move just makes it two times stronger. Damn. So it might be an S, but yeah, I'm giving it an S. What do y'all think? Hmm. I have to really think about this. I feel like without full cow, it would be an A, but with full cow, it's definitely an S. Oh, what do you think, Fatty? I agree with him. Without the the mode, it would definitely be an A. But with the mode, and it's so overpowered, it's an S. Yup. Yeah. So yeah, as it is. With that being said, moving on to the next quirk. My boy Quartz finished showcasing Dark Shadow Quirk, which happens to be an epic quirk. And uh, yeah, with that being said, Quartz, take it from here. Okay. So the so whenever you first get the quirk, you want to press E to activate to do any of the moves, and this little shadow guy will pop up. And the first or, and the first move is gonna be Dark Claw, which anyone will get when you get the quirk. It's a pretty good move, but it has a lot of in lag, so you wanna use it kind of far away from the person. And you can use it at end of combos and stuff like that if you wanna make combos. Yeah, it's a pretty good move. It kinda stuns, but it doesn't, so the NPCs can't hit you as you're doing the move. I wouldn't recommend doing it next to an NPC. Alright, good to know. Fatty. Fatty, how much damage did that do? It did around forty five to fifty damage. Alright, that's pretty good. Good. It's 46 damage. 46, all right. And uh, Corey, you don't need any mastery for it, right? You just get the move. Once yeah, you, get you the just power. get the move. All right, yeah. perfect. Moving on and, to the next uh, the, also, also, with this quirk, uh, you can't have any weapon equipped. It, uh, the shadow takes a like slot, and it, I think it does four extra damage or five. Oh, okay. Okay, that's sure. good to know. All right. 
Moving on to the next move. Uh, it's called slam. It's actually a pretty good move. So like, if you get, you can get a lot of NPCs chasing after you, and it has summon lag. But yeah, it does decent damage. Whoa, it's like a combo whoa. under. That look good. Wow. How much does damage it, did that do, buddy? It, that did, I think, like forty. Wait, do that again. It does fifty. Oh, 50. 50, That's good. Okay, try it again just to make sure. Use the move. All right, Fatty, yeah. how much? 50? Yeah, like, yeah, 50. All right, that's pretty good. All right, moving on to the next move. Now, the next move, the third move, is one of the best for PvP because you can grab them. You grab them, it has a long target time, but you can aim Ooh. where they go, and it has a long stun time. Whenever they're, whenever you throw them against the wall, it has a ton of stun time. It I, does, I think. Ooh, wow. It actually does uh, 40. 40 Ooh. damage? Okay, that, that's pretty decent, but, like... What makes it good is the way you can pick up your opponent. That could really come in handy, you know? Yeah, it's, really cool. it's a combo starter, in my opinion. That's what you want to start your combo with. Let's try to grab yeah, them. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, that's what I meant why it could really come in handy if you want to start a combo and do a good yeah. amount of that. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, moving on to the next move. The last move is pretty good. Uh, it does around, I think, 50 damage. It's called Rampage. Damn. I think it does, think it does 60, maybe. That was seven, like... That was, like, seven... I don't so know how many times. To 70 damage. Yeah. Right. But it also stun locks them, so it's very good. Say, like, if you have someone with, like, animation or something, it actually will stun lock the person, and so they'll be stuck in the animation, and one of your teammates can go up and hit them. Or they'll be stuck when they're getting sliced. And it hits all around me. So, say if you're an NPC, you're targeting one NPC, and another one comes up behind you, it will get hit on your back. So, okay. wait, uh... Okay. Wait, if, uh... Razor wants to come show that. Uh, come behind me. Turn your PvP on. Oh, he's out of the hitbox. But yeah, if they walk up to me, they will be hit. All right. Okay, do it again. And Razor, walk up to him. No, no, let him do the move first before you walk up to him. Wait, back up a little bit. Start walking up to him once he does the move. All right, activate the move. All right, walk up to him. Oh. Yeah, see, so he gets hit. So basically, it puts a circle around you. And you do a baton of slashes. All right, so uh, I would give this quirk a. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if it deserves no, no, no. it. Here's the best part. This is this makes this makes me, this makes it like this competes. This last move competes with like some legendaries. Uh, it's pretty good. It's the transformation. It's called like black. Oh, end. I can't... oh, you didn't showcase the last move. Okay, okay. Yeah, then the... definitely gonna be a. All right, all right. Yeah, a. Stats on it. The stats that it gives: uh, 150 to strength, 110 to speed. Wow, 100, I mean 600 to defense, and no, none to energy. Wow, bro, the form looks sick, eesh. Yeah, Alright, yeah. Give, it doesn't give any I could, I could say this comfortably, bro, like this quirk definitely deserves an A tier. Yeah, At first, so, I was like, I was kind of like debating whether it's an A or B. It could have been a solid B, but the form makes it an A. Yeah, it could, but I would bro, recommend... So also S, but nah, not an S, because of the damage. The damage it does is well, if it did no, a little the damage more, is really good on it. Nah, bro, I've seen the legendaries and they do, do 20 a hit. I do 20 a hit. Like, my M1s, they do 20. But still, bro, like, it's good and all, but I don't think it deserves an Here, S. Watch, a, watch this combo. Watch this combo on Fatty. Watch this combo on Fatty. Whoa, okay. Oh! Damn. Combo. Okay. Damn! Yeah. And my grab is already back, so I could grab him again and do that same combo. That okay, but, that, that is pretty OP. That's why I, it deserves an A. Yeah. But you gotta keep in mind, bro. No, right now, shadow right. users are gonna be good. Like they're not gonna like know how to combo with it or like combo with okay. it. Right? You know what I, I mean? I agree. Though I I, I'd zero, give it an A. I have zero into health right now. I have zero into health, and I have over a thousand health right now. I have zero, I put zero stats into health, but also a good way of building this. Um, it's kind of abusing the system. But you do not put anything into defense, and you will kill 10 a second. Like, your regen will be so fast that you could get max health. Um, right now on my build, I have... I put... Um, right now, I only have 350 stat uh, uh, points. I put 100 into strength, which gives me 250 uh, strength. And then I put the rest into energy, so I can max out my energy and have a little bit left to uh, do my moves. But yeah, this, this quirk is pretty good. I like it. Pretty good. All right, y'all heard and that, also, boys. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Don't get me wrong. This quirk was hard. Yeah. Uh, the, so yeah, like, it, what you said, core? My fault. 
Uh, it takes one a second. Like uh, the, the like debuff to it is it. It takes one energy every second, and you can't regen energy. So you gotta conserve your energy. Try to one combo them. All right, good to know. Yeah. But yeah, like don't get me wrong, bro. This quirk goes hard, but again, I don't know, man. I don't think it deserves an S. A would like match it perfectly, in my opinion. I agree, cause it's like a close range combat type of quirk. So if you have like a long range combat quirk, then you could easily counter it. Uh, and all, it's like all its moves you just run away uh, or jump I feel around like it. Phoenix can easily outrange this uh quirk. Phoenix is basically like the counter to this quirk. Easily. Well, we'll have to find out once we showcase Phoenix, yes, sir. And uh, yeah, with that being said, that's the Dark Shadow quirk. Moving on to the next quirk. All right, perfect. Ended. That was perfect. Good shit, core. All right, all right. My boy Chris is finna showcase the Phoenix quirk, which happens to be a epic quirk. And with that being said, Chris, take it from here, bro. Uh, unfortunately, my boy Chris doesn't have a mic, so he's going to be talking in game. I'm going to be reading each chat, so yeah. Alright, so the first move is Phoenix Wing Flap, and it requires one mastery. Alright, go ahead and use it. Damn, okay. That's good. That move's good. It did 50 damage, and it has afterburn. Yeah, and it has good range. And it's a knockback. It's pretty good. Yeah, this one's looking at like the ass so far. Yeah. So far, right, but early for me to say. All right, the second move is Phoenix Fireball, and let's see how much mastery requires. Just wait for him to type it up. No, he didn't type it up. Okay, that move is good as well. All right, Chris, how much mastery uh, is required for this move? It's five mastery. All it's right, an, five it, mastery. do the move again. He has no cooldowns too. His cooldowns are very short on Phoenix. Damn, me, bro. Me and him were 1v1ing, and it has like less than a 5 second cooldown, and it's a block breaker. That Phoenix Fireball, you cannot block it, and it does really decent damage. I think it did like 40 to 50 damage, and it's a block breaker, and it has like a little bit of afterburn. Yeah. Alright, All right. so third move. Phoenix heal. So do some damage to him, Fatty. Alright, I'll do some damage to him real quick. So it's called Phoenix Heal, 15 Mastery, and it basically just heals yourself. How much does it heal, Prez? Twenty-one. 20 HP. 20 HP, alright. not that bad. Alright, fourth move. The fourth move is Phoenix Dash, 50 Mastery. 50 Mastery, alright. Yeah, it's... Ooh. It does decent oh. damage, at least a little afterburn throw, and it's really good for TP because he can do so many combos with that TP. And it's on really short cooldown. I'm liking this quick so far, bro. It, it did 40 damage and has afterburn. It's really good. All right, moving on to the last move. All right, last move. Phoenix finishing kick, and it requires 80 mastery. Oh, 70 mastery. Oh, that's okay. 70, all right. Did all right, use go it? ahead and use it. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh kick, like I said it was. Oh my god. That's okay, so that, that is... 100 damage. Nice. Bro, oh my god. Phoenix. And it has a scene. It has like a little cut scene. I, I want to give it an S, but I feel like I'm being Dude, biased. Nah, I, I it's know. an S. It's 100% an S. It's an S? Yes. It's yeah, I really, like this, I really like this quirk, bro. It can yeah. outrange most of Wait, the Wait, go ahead and use that move real quick. Real oh. Ex Oh bro, my that, god. That's so, you like, your wings are on your arm, bro. You, and it has a long gun on it. The potential no. combo. The combo bro, is I, I mean, so like... Yeah, what do y'all think, bro? I mean, I would... I would... S, honor, definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah I would... Yep. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so an S. S mm -hmm. it is. Alright, my boy Epic is finna showcase the Hellflame quirk, which happens to be a legendary quirk. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's start the showcase. So the first move requires one mastery, and it goes by the... Okay, but I missed up. Alright, first move ahead. Alright, the first move is called Jet Burn and it requires one mastery. So yeah, Epic, use the first move real quick. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, around like okay. 150 on that, honestly. About 150, damn. That damage is insane. This this quirk is already looking like S. So yeah. close to being S plus already. Alright, moving on to the next move. Vanishing Fist requires 10 mastery. Alright, use the move epic. A TP. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. like 50, honestly. 50, 50 damage? Yeah, I say that could be like a combo extender, maybe. All right, not bad. All right, moving on to the third move. Um, inc incinerate and it requires 25 mastery. All right, epic, use it. Damn. Yeah. I'm 
Most definitely 200, honestly. 200, damn. Most definitely. All right, moving on to the next move, which honestly is my favorite move out of the, what's it called? Hellflame Quirk, which it's is, almost, wait, what? Also, the incinerate is basically auto track. Pretty much, you, you, you ain't got to be that close to them. Or did a lock on it, it'll grab them instantly like that, and then they can't get out, nor can they block it. So, Damn. all right, that's that's, not, that's definitely good to know. Yeah, it's block breaker. All right, so like I was saying, the next move is honestly my favorite move out of all the moves for the Hell Flame Quirk, and it's Health Spider, yes, sir, and it requires 50 Master. So, Epic, use the move real quick and show it off. Yeah, like I said, bro, this move was crazy, bro. Damn, right, but I bro. did at least a good. A good 60 maybe yeah and also the range is insane i'm being for real like and yeah that, that, the range that's and the wide of it how wide it gets it's past that white line yeah all right that being said moving on to the last move which is wait hold on hold on i forgot how to pronounce it you showed up one sec one sec prominence all right all right, last move. Prominence burn requires 80 mastery. Our right, epic, show it off. Damn. A good 200 plus oh, burn damage geez. as well. So I'd say at least about two, yeah, 210, 220, 220, 220 one yeah. Down, so. And yeah, yeah, that's it for Hellflame, y'all. Bro, bro honestly, I would give it. Bro, I would give it an S plus, bro. I mean, it's one of the best because it has close range and. I think range. it's the best. It's in my opinion, I think it's the best. I think it's the best in my opinion so far. Might be. Um, All right. Yeah, from experience for myself, an S. yeah, it's definitely an S. It could be an uh, S plus, bro. I think this one really, could surpass yeah. all the marks. Uh, it really no, could be. No, no, because look, let me explain why. First, you got far range and you got close range. So, I mean, most of your moves really, they could, they may, they the, may be But far do they have long cooldowns and uh, they, uh, a lot of stam? I say the two stem? long... No, nah, they don't take that much stem because I have 146 and I'm perfectly fine with all four right now. Basically five. And uh, the four that I have right now don't take any stem really. The cooldowns, the two longest cooldowns are probably, i say Incinerate and uh, Hell Spider. And probably since the ultimate is going to be, it's ultimate. It's probably so you at least need like cooldown. around, like maybe if you want to like stem your moves a bit, maybe like 300 energy. No, I'd say like, yeah, maybe like 250. Like, Mm, 250 is a lot. I think it's like almost 400. Yeah, yeah, I, think, yeah, yeah. I think Quirk's right. Yeah, 400. But yeah. Yeah, bro, either way, bro, this Quirk goes crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, me personally, I would give it an S+. Plus. What do y'all think? I think this one could... I mean, not could. It surpasses all the Quirks in my I opinion. Mean, I mean, S... Could be up there. We gotta, we gotta see like. Yeah, we yeah. gotta see more content. We gotta, we gotta see. see look, listen, listen. Basically. We'll give it an S. Look, we'll give it an S because S plus doesn't exist to be honest. But let me know what y'all think in the it's comments. It's a high S. It's one of the highest. Yeah, it's yeah. a high S, and that, that's where we're gonna leave it at high S. But yo, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Does this quirk surpass all the quirks in the, in this game, and does it deserve the S plus tier list? I mean, S plus tier level. Let me know in the comment section. And uh, yeah, with that being said, moving on to the next quirk. All right, perfect. perfect. All right, my boy Audible's gonna showcase the hot and cold quirk, which happens to be a legendary quirk. With that being said, Audible, take it from here, bro. Okay, so the first move is a short range stun attack and it requires one mastery and it's like $300, $400, something like that. Wait, what's the name of it? Uh, Freeze, the name is Freeze. Right. It kind of does like a, a oh, stun not bad. for like half a second. It's pretty good, pretty good. I mean, it's pretty, de it's pretty decent for a legendary quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. Um, the second move is Fire Blast. It's kind of like a medium range attack, and it does burn damage. It's uh, it requires ten mastery, and I think it's like one thousand dollars, something like that. It's Ooh, really nice. Good. Good oh, damage. and it does Good. half the damage. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it does burn damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the third move is named Ice Fire Boost. It requires. 25 mastery of your quirk and it's a medium range attack and it kind of like tps you and it's a boost and it stuns the enemy damn <laughs> okay pretty yeah it's pretty yep. good yeah the damage on it is all right yeah yeah all right. <clears throat> okay the fourth move is ice walls and it requires 40 mastery and it's a kind of like a medium short kind of like in the middle if you hold it down uh, then you aim it at the opponent 
It does a stun attack and it's pretty long range. It's a medium range attack. I believe it does like 50 damage. <clears throat> yeah, yes. Yeah. About. But the fifth move is Flash Freeze Heat Wave. Now, this is the ultimate. So, it requires 80 mastery. It's $40,000. It's a lot. You're going to have to grind a bit. And it kind of like stuns your enemy and it bur and it does burn damage. It's kind of like a fire blast and the freeze in one. There, I'll demonstrate it. And it does a fire blast. It's really Oh, good. that damage. That yeah, damage. it does a lot of damage. Yep. So that's they it for the problem. half hot, half cold. I mean, honestly, the last one doesn't like fully make up for the other moves because their damage is all right. But yeah. Yeah, but since the last move is pretty OP, I'll give this... uh. I'll give this legendary quirk an A rank, in my opinion, A tier. What do y'all yeah. think? Not an S. I, I agree. I think bad. that it's either an A tier or an S tier because, first of all, it's kind of like two quirks in one because it has ice with the stuns and it has hell flame with the burn damage. And it, I just think burn damage plus like stuns is OP. Like if yeah. I would just do this, uh, then like this, for example, that does a lot of damage. Whoa. It's yeah, a lot know. of damage. And uh, then like I could also do this. Other than this, my ultimate, I think go like that, it's really OP. He's dead, see? Yep. It's a really, really it, good. it is OP in its it, own way, but again, it, yeah. like you gotta keep in mind not all hot and cold are gonna and, be like really good with it, you know? Yeah, so I I'll think I would put it. I but think like, I don't would, get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't I get think me wrong. I would put it at an A because like it's all short range and medium attacks. And like if you verse like a Hellflame user, you're gonna get dogged on because like it has all like long range and everything attacks. But overall, it's on my opinion, it's the second best legendary quirk in the game. Not nah, third, third. I would say third. And my opinion is actually dog. Maybe, it's not maybe, that good, maybe, bro. Maybe. Dog? You gotta compare it. It what is tier? not that good, bro. It's what tier B. would you give it? It's a B, bro. It's nowhere close. It is not good at all. Not to the be honest, it, uh -uh. I would the agree with you, sucks. but the last move is OP, bro. Like, if the, you know how to combo with it, it's deadly. Now, if you know how to combo with it, it's deadly. So, yeah, I'll like, give it an A. You, you so, we got two A's. Combo? We got two A's and we got one B. Yeah, demonstrate combo. Okay. okay. So, a combo you could do is Ice Fire Boost, Flash Freeze, Fire Blast, and then Freeze. I'll demonstrate it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Give me a sec. I'm gonna turn on my PvP, my fault. Yeah, like that. in my opinion, I don't think it's that and good. And if he, if if he, he had his, if he had his PvP on, then he would have one shot him. Damn. Right. All right. So yeah, that makes it an A in my opinion. I, I hit him with I hit him with two of the moves, and it did half of his health. So if I did the full combo on him, that would have been. I don't like, know. Maybe with the combo or something. I don't know. From the damage he did, it wasn't looking too good on the damage. No, he, he didn't have his PvP on for the first part. He only yeah, turned yeah. his PvP on for the second part, where I hit yeah. him with the last move. Yup. So yeah, honestly, yeah, I feel comfortable saying it's A tier. So we got two A tier and one B tier. What do you think, Itachi? It's up to you. I mean, from the damage it did, I don't know if it might have been oh, just my... a combo you might have used or. No, no, no. He had no, his no, no, PvP no. on. I had PvP off. That's why. Oh, oh one okay, shot okay, him. Okay. So it's A, right? Oh, well. It's a combo on me. I got two PvP. It's a combo on you. Okay, better. So I'm gonna test my okay, combo on Chris. Oh, I'll tell you, because hmm. if only if only one move is good on it, that that's kind of no, bad. not one move. If I think about it, almost all. No, moves. no, the other moves, the other moves had the advantage. It's the stuns, right? The stuns, right? Like, look, know. listen, the other moves the stuns have the and the bird damage. Look, listen, the other moves have the advantages too, but they're just not like they don't do a lot of damage. That's all. Yes, I mean the uh, fire blast does a lot of damage. If they're Look, you want you want me to show you the fire blast? Because it don't really do that much damage. Only one move does damage. I mean, I'm telling you, bro. It is. I'm hyping it up now, but it's not a. It's not a. I look. Listen, audible, audible. Use the combo. Use the combo. I think we're just gonna like have it as a tie. It's either. I'll do it on combo. We're gonna we're gonna have to like look. Listen, we're gonna have to let the viewers decide. So yo, let us know in the comment section what tier level this quirk deserves, A or B. In my opinion, I'm saying A. I'm about to go with a B. Same, I right. go to B2, bro. Right, so it's a tie, it's either A or B right now. All right, X is going to be showcasing the engine quirk, which happens to be a rare quirk. With that being said, X, show off the first move. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so that move is called Rocket Kick. It requires one mastery, and it's a medium range kick, and it kind of like pushes you back. So it's like, um, it's a good combo extender. Second move is knockdown. It requires 15 mastery and it's a short range, and it kind of like ragdolls you. So he's gonna uh, showcase it. Uh -huh. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice move. 
It's a good extender. Okay. So the third move is Reciprocal Axe Kick. It requires 30 mastery. It's a short range move. And it kind of like throws you up into the air a bit. It's like a good combo ender. Okay, I actually don't want to break him. Nice. 46 damage. That's really that's pretty good. Okay, the the last move is Steam Marathon. It requires 50 quirk mastery and it's a short range attack. It's kind of like a multi hit. So showcase it. Oh, it's kind of like potty table. So the last move is a passive. The name is Reciprocal Burst. It takes four energy every second and the stat boost is 100 strength and 800 speed. So my boy X is gonna showcase it. Bro, that looks sick. Oh my gosh, nice. Oh my God, you're so fast. Okay, there. Uh All right, so honestly, I would give Engine a, uh, a D. In my opinion, a D. What do you guys think? I think I would give it a C tier because it's... Uh, What's the mode? What's the stat? I think I think it would be a C tier because all of the moves are pretty much like close range, and if like someone can like like stun you or something, you're yeah, pretty much gonna play. Speed your opponent. Yeah. I personally think cringy. actually, yeah, it's a C. It's a C. I think it's the C or B. Oh, it's right. a B. Yeah, yeah, it's it might be a B. It might be a B. It's a B. I'm putting it at A. I think it's a B. Oh no. I think it's a B. Okay, so then. both of them, both of them combined the, the first passive and the last passive. It gives you a stat boost of 110 strength plus 1,100 speed. So that's really good. Uh, that's why I would put it out of B tier. Oh, that is an. That's like a high B or A. What the fuck? Yeah, okay, actually, it's a high B. What's the drain on it though? What's the drain on it? Uh, it's every four, four seconds. seconds or every every four, second. Every second. Four? Uh, four. Yeah, every second. Ah, uh, that's. I feel like that's a B. Okay, so the next quirk we're going to be showcasing is Air Cannon, and it's a rare quirk, and my boy Zeba is going to be showcasing for you. The first move is called Air Blast. Uh, it's a medium range attack. Nice, 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 nice. Now, the second move we're going to be doing is called Air Boost. It's kind of like a double jump, and it repels you into the air, and you can do it infinitely until your stamina runs out. So for the last move, it's called Grand Air Cannon. It requires 50 mastery, and you could hold it down. And the more you hold it down, the more damage it does. And it could do up to like 120 damage, something around there. Showcase it. Damn. It ragdolls me too. That's a pretty good move. Okay, now my boy Zeba is gonna be doing his last move, uh, Uncharge. Go ahead, Zeba. Ooh, yo, I, I was mean, at 344, and that thing brought me to 240, bro. And I'm sure it ragdolls too, so that's pretty good. I mean, I it's not bad. That. There's not a big difference between like yeah, if you yeah. hold it down or not. It's All 100 right, so damage. What do you mean? Wait, what you said? It's 100, 100 damage. Meter. Oh no, the damage. I'm I'm saying like knockback and how it looks like. I thought it would like be a little bit different. No, when he charged it down, it hit me into the ground and it ragdolled me. But when he didn't charge it, I hit. I got hit back. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. So what would y'all give? I would give it. I don't know. Like. Yeah. See. see? <laughs> Okay, so what I would rate Air Cannon is probably a high C because, first of all, you could jump away infinitely until your stamina runs out. And like Kor said, you can just wait until the people run out of stamina, people with modes like Shadow or something. And so and then you could just fall on their head and then just do your ultimate and then they're ragdolled and free m ones. Yeah, I agree, bro. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so the next quirk we're going to be showcasing, my boy Go is going to be showcasing it. It's super strength. It's a common quirk. And the first move is Power Fist. It's kind of like a short range attack. Showcase it. Nice, 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 nice. Now the second now the second move for super strength quirk is Earth Spinning Kick. It's kind of like a good combo ender, and it kicks you up into the air. Do it. Cool. Really nice, really nice. And the third move is Dragon Throw. It kind of like, uh, it's a close range attack. It pulls you in, it throws you around, and it hits you into any object near you. So do it. Nice, nice, nice. Now the last move, the last and final move for the Super Strength Quirk is Gatling Blow. And it's kind of like a really good combo extender. Show it. Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead, I'm at 30 health. Okay, so this is a big heavy damage quirk. Okay, now we're done showcasing, we're gonna move on to the tier list. Okay, what I would rate it is probably a B, because first of all, it does heavy damage, and it, even though it's close range attacks, even if you put some uh, points into speed, it still makes up, because the damage is really big. Yeah, okay, I agree go on. with that. Fatty, what do you have to Honestly, say about it? Honestly, I agree. It's a really close range combat type of quirk, 
So yeah, you gotta have some speed to like back it up. Pretty much, yeah, I agree. And speed. It's also surprisingly good for a common. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, really good for a common. Yeah, I probably agree with that. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so the next quirk we're gonna be showcasing is an epic rarity, and it's explosion. And my boy Razor is gonna be showcasing it. So go ahead, Razor. All right. So for the first move is explosive fist. This is a short range move, and it is zero. Uh, one master. Yeah, let me show you. Okay. This okay. Is really good because you can use it every one second. It's a very quick cooldown. Oh, you can. Yeah, okay, that's okay. All right. So now the second move is called stun grenade. This is like a medium range move. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to charge up, but it blinds the user for around five seconds. I can't even see shit. Yeah, it completely. Blinds. My eyes hurt. It's really good. Right after, you can use like an explosive fist, whatever you want to use after, and they can't even see what's happening. On to the third move. This is a passive move. It's actually more like a transportation. This move is like a Geppo in other games. You can. Uh, boost forward backwards wherever you want to go up down and it propels you at a large speed with uh explosives it's really good because you can spam it for however much energy you have you can go high low you can go wherever okay all right so now next next uh move is ap shot this is a long range attack medium to long range attack it takes a bit of charge up and it's a pretty powerful move oh it yeah, it's like a, it's kind of like a Sero or like something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now on to the last attack. This is a very long range move. Uh, Audible, do you mind moving far back where like that building is? Yeah, let me move back too. It propels the user super far. Bro, if the move actually reaches as far, I'm gonna be mind blown, but it's easy gonna be A tier. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to, um, to aim, uh, but aim. let me try my hardest. What? Okay, I, I you missed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be showcasing the last move. It's Howitzer Impact. This is a very long range move, and it propels the user uh, with explosions to someone, and it's very, very powerful and a very long uh, cooldown. And it has really big AoE, also. Yeah, so let me show you. Oh my god. Yo, that's sick. What it's really sick, but it's actually really hard. It's to really good. It's really good for transportation. Really good yeah. for transportation. It's gonna, like if you're in a PvP match, yeah, it's really gonna be hard to. Even yeah, even if you don't hit it, I still think it's really good because like let's say I want like I was here, then the enemy's right there, and I really needed to get away from like a situation because I was low. I would just use that and really quickly get all the way yeah, over. If you hit this, it's gonna be really good. Mm -hmm. And it does mass amount of damage, so even if you do hit it, it's so yeah. good. So it's good in both ways, if you miss it and if you don't miss it. Because with the with the big explosion, your uh, enemy can't really see you. Yeah, so. you get masked. We're moving on to the tier list, I would rank it an A. So yeah, I'm giving it a strong high A. It's yeah, because it has two transportation moves, the last move and the transportation move where you could fly. It's kind of like a double jump and it propels you. And the cooldown for the first move, I do 93 That's damage and it's every second. So that's, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You can propel yourself towards people, and it has kind of like a like a decent AOE. So that's why I think yeah. it's also really good. I'm gonna give it a solid A. Same, 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 solid A. What do you think, Freddy? I'm gonna have to give it a solid A as well. All right, the next quirk we're going to be showcasing is the Super Regeneration Quirk, and happens to be a common quirk. With that being said, X, take it from here. Okay, so the first move is gonna be what, uh, requiring one mastery. It's self heal and it heals 25. Uh, it's a singular heal, 25. And my boy actually gonna be showcasing it. Nice, nice, nice. They healed him back to full. Okay, now the second move requires 20 mastery and it's a heal field. It heals your party members around you. So do it. Oh, I'm a nice party member though, shit. Okay, okay, nice. That's good, that's good. Okay, so what I would tier list the super regeneration quirk is, in my opinion, either like a, a high C because it's really good for support. Like if you're doing like a raid and your teammates are low, like an impossible raid where you only have one life, for example, you could just heal your teammates and they wouldn't die. That's why I think it's a, a high C. Yeah, I low-key agree with it, bro. Cause yeah, it could really come in the clutch when it comes to raids. Yeah. Yep. Cause you could, cause there's two separate moves where you could heal your teammates and you, so you can do both. Yeah. It's not going to be really helpful at all for um, PvP, and it's it good. might be a little yeah. helpful for grinding. 
Yeah, yeah for it, PvP, this quirk is definitely like a F, yeah. you know, lowest tier. But yeah, for, for grinding PvP, and raids, it's, it's like a high C, yeah. It's pretty good. Unless they add like fighting styles in this game or something, then that would be good because you could just heal yourself mid battle. But other than that, there isn't, so it's an F tier for PvP and a high C for like grinding and raids. So we're gonna move on to the next quirk now. All right, the next quirk is going to be the invincibility quirk, and it happens to be a common quirk as well. And with that being said, Art will take it from you. Okay, so the first move for the invisibility quirk is invisibility. It requires one mastery. My boy Jader is going to be showcasing it. So go ahead. Nice, nice, nice. I can still hit him while he's invisible, but I can't see him at all. That's so. that's Loki OP, bro. Like, Loki you can't OP, see yeah. him anymore. Damn. If I have like ice sword or something, I can just like freeze the people, and it's, it's really it's really good. And but it's still OP, bro. Like he's gone. Eesh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Moving on to the second move of his invisibility quirk, it's refraction. It requires 10 through 20 mastery. We don't really know. Uh, somewhere between there. And it kind of like does a stun, so my boy JJ is going to be showcasing it. Okay, I, I can't see anything at the moment. I don't even know where I am. Can't see the anything. damage on it is it's not that good. Yeah, it's not that good, the, the damage, but uh, the stun uh, makes up for it. I can still move around and hit everything, but I can't see anything. My whole screen was like white. I can see yeah. it. So that so was it for the invisibility quirk. And now we're gonna be tier listing it. I would put it at like a mid C, mid C. Cause first of all, you could go invisible and stun the character. Yeah, there's the nothing part. really special about it. I yeah. think if, if, uh, if they add more like weapons, F. yeah, if they add more like weapons and stuff, like uh, with the ice sword, that would be really good. Cause like you could just go invisible and just start stunning the person. No, but the problem is they can see your accessories and weapons. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's the one thing that they have to fix about The main problem is there's no weapon that could uh, deal that much damage. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, so I would put it at like a mid C. Yeah, I, I agree. Think yeah, low C. Uh, it's it's not mid C, bro, because the first move is yo, it makes you go invincible, bro. Yeah, like and, it's and not it's good for PV. I mean, honestly, yeah, it's not that good. I mean, it's what's not. good about going invincible? Yeah, you're right. No, but so, no, but it's yeah, really good NPCs can still detect you. If you're getting, if you're getting like, ganked by a bunch of people, you just go invincible and just start running away. Yeah, really yeah, but, low C, maybe D. Because yeah, but honestly, yeah, it doesn't deserve a high C, honestly. Yeah, I would say low C. What do y'all think? Low C. D or F. I, I, I think, low key think it's an F, though. Cause yeah, invisible it's not useful. Like There's no good way to damage. deal the damage. Well, that's true. That's I true. think it would be like a low C. A low C or a D. Low C or D. No, I think now, now yeah, it's an F. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's an F. F bro. Yeah, it's an F. Yeah, it's F. not useful. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's not like you'll deal damage. Yeah, I was lucky giving it the benefit of the doubt, but yeah, it's an F. Yeah, because, bro, what's okay. the point? Like, what's good about going invincible? That does you no good. It's not good for grinding. It's not good for PvP. It's not good for nothing. No damage. Also, a lot of moves in this game have AoEs, so they could just hit you, uh, everything yeah. around them. Yeah, that's true. And you could be part of it. Yeah, agreed. So, yeah, I'm giving up. it an F, bro. We're all giving I'm it giving an F, it except for, for Audible. All right, so it's an F. Yeah, but Audible got outvoted. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, that's tough. All right, moving on to the next quiz. Thank you. All right, that's good. All right, end it. Alright, the next quirk is going to be the ice quirk, which also happens to be a common uh, quirk. And with that being said, Audible, take it from me. Okay, so the first move for the ice quirk is a flash freeze. That's the name. And it requires one mastery. And it's kind of like a short range stun, and my boy Nar is going to be showcasing it. It does a stun for like half a second. It's kind of like half out, uh, half cold. It's pretty good, pretty good. Good, good for uh, a combo extender. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, then the second move is Ice Field. It's kind of like an Ice Age. It's a medium range AoE and it does a stun to anyone around you. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, then Ice Skate. It's kind of like a dash. It's a medium range move again. You can go kind of far back and it kind of uh, it boosts you towards the enemy and stuns them. Exactly how it was shown. Uh, then the last move is Ice. Uh, it's Giant Ice Walls and requires, I think, 80. Yeah. And 80 Mastery. And uh, it's kind of like a big wall, and it stuns anyone inside the walls or near the walls. So it's a medium range attack. So that's it for the ice quirk. All right, and uh, tier list it. I would give it I like would, it's not that bad. It's actually a yeah, good. Quirk. I would give it. I would give it like a mid range B because the stuns. I say low B, sole purpose because sometimes stun breaks and the AOE is not as big as that's it should. Right. In the I ultimate, in the ultimate, could be a bit better. So I would, I would put it a low B. Yeah, 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 a low B. Yeah, kind of. Yep. Yo, Fatty, so, what do you think, okay? Yeah, I agree. I think it's a B because it's good for stunning, but like, like no damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, low B it is. Moving on to the next quirk. 
All right, next up is going to be the shock absorption quirk, and it happens to be a common quirk as well. And with that being said, Audible, take it from here, bro. Okay, so the first move for the shock absorption quirk, it requires five mastery, and it's called shock absorption, and it kind of gives you two times less damage. So look, I'm going to demonstrate it. I'm going to hit him once. It does 16.4 damage. Now activate it, Nar. And now it does 8.2, so it's really good uh, for, like, uh, less damage. It's really good. Okay, now moving on to the second move for shock absorption. It requires 25 mastery. It's called super armor, and it gives you invulnerability for uh, one second. So my boy Nar is going to showcase it. So basically, Longer than one second. It, is that yeah, one second? It, it does like one second and a half. So it gives you invulnerability for one second. So all moves can't hit him. Okay, that's pretty so, good. That's pretty all right, good. moving so on, now to we're gonna move on to the tier list. Yep. In my all opinion, right. I would give it like uh, maybe like a, a high C. Because it does give you uh, it does give you less damage and everything, but like there's nothing you could really do with it, except oh, just, I give it I a give D. It, bro, I give it a D because does no does no damage, just makes you invincible for one second. I would yeah, give it like an F, bro. It only has two moves, and it's not good for grinding. It's not good for raids. I mean, not not good for the good thing about it is the last move. I think they can reflect an ultimate. Like the last yeah, they can. They can. Yeah, they, can they could. They could dodge an ultimate, which is really they useful. Can, they could dodge an ultimate, Super so that's why. That's why. Okay, I would so yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't yeah, give it D. Yeah. So D, D R, yeah, yeah, probably yeah, a D. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. It's a D. It's a yeah, yep, D. Yep, yep. All right, so now D moving D. on to the next quirk. All right, next up is going to be the zero gravity quirk, and it happens to be a rare quirk. That being said, Audible, take it from here, bro. Okay, so the first move for the zero gravity quirk is zero gravity uppercut, and it's a close range stun attack. So my boy Razor is going to be showcasing it. Feels. Damn, 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 pretty good. It's a really long stun, and look, you could combo extend with it. Cause look, I'm I'm ragdolled on the ground right now. I can't move at all. So it's a really good combo extender. Uh, then the second move is zero gravity jump. Uh, my boy Razor is going to be showcasing it. It uh, propels you into the air really fast, really high also. Just like that. Uh, then the third move is falling star. And it kind of does like a, a big boulder smash on the ground. It's like a medium range attack. Yep, oh, damn. Go. Pretty nice. That's 69 pretty damage. That's really good. It's a good, it's good uh, medium range AOE. Other uh, than Asteroid Field, it's kind of like, uh, it sums the big boulders uh, into the air and smashes it into the ground. It's Again, it's medium range AOE. Oh, damn. Pretty good, I'm pretty good. Oh, oh, that's really good. Other uh, than the last move is the ultimate. Get ready for this. It kind of like summons like a whole pillar and hits you out of the field, bro. Go do it. Oh, oh damn. That, that's fire. It's really, it, it can hit multiple targets around you. It's really that good for AOE. That animation look good too, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what would y'all rate it? I mean, I would rate it. I would rate it easy, yeah, because all yeah. of the moves, all, all of most of the moves are AOE, except the the first one, and yeah. it's really good for combo extending. Yeah, I agree, bro. For a good amount of time. I've had this for a good amount of time, and in, in PvP, it's amazing. It's yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, yep, there. yep. That's what I was about to say, bro. I'm giving it an A because when it comes to PvP, this quirk is gonna go crazy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, A for me. And, yeah, and also in raids, if you, have, if you have like a big group on you, all of the moves are AOE, so it's perfect. It's yep. amazing. It's like if you have an ice user and this user, it's, it's Especially amazing. home run com uh, combat, yeah. because there's a high knockback, and there's a lot yeah. of damage. And it has a big AOE also. So that's why we're going to rate it in A tier. Yep. So and yeah, with that being said, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And you, if you guys want to see more videos on this game, simply leave a like. And most importantly, let me know in the comment section. And with that being said, it's been your boy the summer to him. Peace out. This world shall know pain.